here and now, in the eternal now. Christ in matter, God in Christ, the three aspects blended, united, synthesized in all detail, in meticulous entirety, and yet as one. The tiniest thing in God is the fullness of God. I am the mother and the child. I, God, I, matter, am, leading to what the Tibetan says is the true mantram for Virgo. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is not Christian. This is not one religion. This is a great principle, long in germination, growing, emerging towards its birth. A first birth ages ago, a second birth at the time of the second initiation, first initiation, and a third birth when the fourth initiation occurs and even later, Christ in you, the hope of glory, the growing consciousness in the midst of millions of perceptions, consciousness growing. the hope of glory for humanity, a materially burdened humanity in which matter reigns, but the Christ principle is planted, and many must grasp the hope of the coming glory, which already some have demonstrated, the masters have demonstrated, high initiates have demonstrated the glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory, in the littlest things, in the most mundane, in the most ordinary, in the most tedious, in the most repetitious, always the hope of glory, and the feeling of the growing glory, and the coming birth of that glory, a great hope, under the second ray, the sixth ray, the hope from above, the hope repeated by the prodigal son from below. All sustained by the mother, who will not relent, who endures until the birth occurs. We are supported, we are sustained. And in each one of us, the great Christ is coming to birth by stages, through the initiation process, and finally in freedom at the fourth degree and still greater freedom beyond. Christ in you, the hope of glory. I am the mother and the child. I, God, I, matter, am. In the hours that remain before the full moon, let us intensify this and let us find a way to bring it to humanity over the next three days. Humanity is so much in need of these realizations. We remember the alignment. It's really from the Pleiades themselves, the hub of the wheel.
and through great constellations which represent the heart center. And to the constellation Virgo with its second and sixth ray. And to all aspects of the sun, the central spiritual heart of the sun and the Fohat, Agni, personal sun. The Virgo touches all three. And to brilliant Mercury, to Vulcan, to Neptune, to Jupiter, and to Shambhala and the Earth. The alignment through every monad, galaxies of monads, like galaxies of stars, descending to every soul, to every personality. Christ in you, the hope of glory. I am the mother and the child, I God, I matter am. We hold this alignment. If we are awake, we intensify it. If we are asleep, we intensify it. Building towards this moment of impact at 9, 26, 39, on the 12th, Greenwich Mean Time. Great responsibility we all have to work together to hold, to hold this, to receive and hold and distribute. The world can be saved by these energies, cyclically impacting, building, subtly affecting. And we look towards the world. We look towards the problems so evident now, the violence, the misunderstanding, the fire by friction running rampant. We know what Virgo can do. We know that matter can be rightly used, rightly treated, divinely elevated. Let us select an area in our mind which needs the Virgo energy and the energy of its second and sixth rays and the energy of its rulers, Mercury, Moon, Vulcan, Neptune, Jupiter. Where is the Virgo energy needed now? And as you think of where you think it is most needed, create a short mantra which embodies the need and the fulfillment of the need. A blessing, a mantra of blessing and gift. Each will have his own mantra. And as we sound the Om with a voice, mentally repeat your mantra and visualize the energy of Virgo flowing into that situation and bringing rectification, improvement. Repeat the mantra to yourself. And we will sound the Om and think directively. Think the mantra directively into the situation.
hold that mantra with you. As the time approaches and the days of distribution elapse, feel the energy, receive the energy, transmit the energy, and remember we do it as a group. Call upon the strength and the presence of your group brothers and sisters as you share the energy. As you try to hold the energy, hold it with your group brothers and sisters. We work as a group. We are not really separated by time and space. We are together in soul, in presence. We are in each other's consciousness. Consciousness is fluid. We flow in and out and see through many pairs of eyes. Wherever any one of us is, all of us are. So we hold together, we distribute together. And as we sound the great invocation together, we keep in mind this shared unity of presence in space and in time. So now, we will sound together the great invocation, and when we reach the sacred word, we will sound it three times, distributing everything in this alignment, and especially the Virgo energies, pervasively throughout humanity, intensifying them, so that even those who don't know anything about these things can begin to feel a little something greater respect for matter form, for the environment, for the nurturing of an idea, of an ideal, for the slow emergence of something precious, something cherished, for the slow growth of wisdom in everyday circumstances. As we distribute via the Great Invocation, we can see these things happening. 